Hello, the internet, and welcome to another fast school holiday program with CNRL Children's Services and CNRL Library Innovation Studio. And today we're going to show you how to make a barometer. Now, a barometer is something that can predict the weather. It tells you if it's going to be a nice day or if it's going to be a cloudy, rainy day. And we're going to build a barometer using jam jar and a balloon, and a pair of scissors, elastic band, a straw, pens, a piece of paper, a ruler, and a bit of tape. Now, you may have heard of weather balloons. They're something that scientists attach instruments to that float up into the sky and measure what's going on with the weather up there. We're doing something a little bit similar. The only thing is, our weather balloon is not going to fly. Our balloon is going to stay very much on the ground attached to our jam jar. I'm going to show you how this works. And while I'm showing you how it works, I'm going to explain why it works. Very important. Science bit, super interesting. First of all, you get your balloon and we're going to cut it. We're going to cut this bit off just where it starts to curve up into the balloon. Just like this. And you get your jam jar and the uh, dome part of the balloon and you stretch it over the top. Like that. It wants to be nice and tight like a drum skin. And to make sure it stays in place, get yourself one of your elastic bands oh, <laughs> and put it over the top. There we go. You want that nice and tight. You don't really want to see a dimple there. Next up, get your straw and a bit of tape. And all you're going to do is tape the straw so it's right in the middle and just tape it down. There we go. And a bit of tape. There we go. Don't go crazy with the tape. We want this straw to be able to move as the balloon moves, and the balloon is going to move. Now, that's your barometer done, but how are you going to read the readings? That's why you need a piece of paper. So get your piece of paper, fold it in half. It's going to stand up like a card. Just like that. So you can take a meter reading, just like you see in cars and other devices. This is going to be the needle that moves up and down. So, next we need to get one of our pens. And just carefully mark where the straw is at the moment. So we know where to start our scale. Then we get a ruler, and we're going to put some marks about a centimeter apart, little lines, so we can see if it rises or falls. There we go. So you'll end up with something that looks a bit like this. Now, we want to draw sunshine at the top and rain down the bottom. Now to explain how and why this works. Our jam jar isn't empty, it's full of air molecules. The air molecules can't get out, and no more air molecules can get in. However, the air outside of the jam jar is free to move around. Now, as the air outside heats up, it rises, and as it cools down, it falls. So as it gets colder, more air molecules fall down, building up all around the outside of the jam jar, putting pressure on the balloon, flattening it down, and making it dip in. As the short end of the straw dips in with the balloon, the long end points up on our chart. When the air gets warmer, all those molecules rise up and away, taking pressure off the top of the balloon. And the air molecules inside the jar rise too, pushing the balloon up into a dome. As that happens, the short end of the straw points upwards, the long end of the straw points down on our chart. Now, you might think that warm air equals sunshine, but weather's much more complex than that. When the air pressure is low, the warmer air is free to rise up into the sky, while it's up there, it cools down and condenses into clouds of water droplets, often leading to rain. Look outside. Often you'll notice the skies are clear and blue in the morning, but by midday the sun has heated the water vapour in the air up, making it rise up to form clouds in the afternoon, possibly leading to rain. And this is why our barometer works. Okay. Would you believe it's just started to rain here at the Easy? Rain! Amazing! It's raining at the Uthi. Let's go check our barometer. Sure enough, it is pointing down towards rain. It is raining. Our barometer works. See how it's domed up? Now that second piece of tape there is very important. If that wasn't there, it would just be straight across. It needs to be able to follow the curve of this. Look at that. Rain. Down towards rain. And the top of our balloon is very visibly domed. 
Now I have to say I'm actually very happy with that. I mean, it's lucky that while we're doing this, the weather happened to change. That we've gone from a fairly nice, clear, sunny day to now it's just raining and our barometer actually works. I hope your barometer brings you rain as well. And there you go. We hope you enjoyed this workshop and we hope you have fun predicting the weather with your barometer. Now keep watching the video to find out what you'll need for the next workshop. See you next time. In our next workshop, we'll be, ma we'll be making these super fun sprout heads. In order to make them, you'll need a pot, some dirt or potting mix, and of course some seeds. Alright, we'll see you then.